I found five Google certificates that can each land you an $80,000 remote job with zero experience needed. And the craziest part, most of these programs take less than six months to complete and cost under $100. Now, if you're tired of college costing $100,000 or more and being the only way that you can get a good job, you're gonna love this because there are countless examples of people who've landed incredible remote jobs using these certificates, and I'm gonna show you exactly which ones are working right now. And by the way, these certificates are amazing and they're gonna give you the skills and help you to land a job. But if you wanna know the actual nuts and bolts of how to apply for a job, how to actually find them, and then how to pass the interviews, I also have a completely free guide where it's gonna help you to land these remote jobs. And I'll put that down in the description and the pinned comment below. And before we dive in, I wanna be very clear here. These certificates provide valuable skills. However, you should combine them with practical experience, a portfolio and additional learning. Okay, I've helped hundreds of people land remote jobs using these types of strategies and this is what actually works. And we're gonna start with number one on the list with the OG, the granddaddy, the Google professional certificate that started it all. That's right, the Google IT support professional certificate. And when this first came out, there was so much hype. I remember when it first came out, you know, a lot of people asked me to review it. I wanted to wait about three to six months or so so that people could kind of try it out, you know, get some feedback from it and then I could try it out and then I'd review it. And the initial feedback I got from my students was really good. Then they started coming out with more of these and the feedback just got better and better from my students. We started getting comments left and right from so many different people that were landing jobs from these certs. And what's really interesting is that these certs are literally designed to take you from zero to job ready within a matter of months. And that is really tough to accomplish. So do they always do that? No, especially considering that a lot of these you can actually audit for free. You can try it for free for seven days with my link down in the description in the pinned comment below. Check it out. And even if you do pay for it, it's only like 49 $9 per month. So it's kind of ridiculous to expect that these certs alone are going to land you a job, although sometimes they do. However, if you combine these certs, like the Google IT Support Professional Certificate, with supplemental education and building a portfolio, oh, you're definitely getting a job. Because these certs are going to be teaching you the exact skills that Google is looking for. Like, that's basically the reason that they did this program. It's not because they want to make money. I mean, these cert they don't make that much money from these certificates. They already make, you know, billions and billions of dollars. It's because they wanted to educate the workforce on what skills they actually needed because college was not doing a good job. And so in this cert, you're going to learn technical support fundamentals, computer networking, operating systems, system administration, and IT security. And of course, you can land some more entry-level jobs like IT help desk, an IT administrator, and in those, you'll probably start somewhere around like 50 to 70K, depending on where you live and other factors. But in some cases, you might even be able to land a job like a system analyst, and they make about 80 to 125K per year. Year. And if you can't land it right away, then after you get some experience, you'll definitely be able to land it within a few years. So yeah, absolute no brainer. Another one you could go into is database administrator. They make about 70 to $122,000 a year. Yeah, there's just tons of opportunities here. Now these courses on Coursera have incredible ratings. I think this one's about 4.8 stars, but it's not just on Coursera and on my YouTube channel that you see a bunch of great feedback. You see it all across the internet. For instance, the most negative place on the internet, Reddit, also has really good things to say about these certs. So the barrier to entry here is low, the demand is high, and you can actually complete this pretty quickly if you're dedicated. Many people report completing it in less than a month. Now, by the way, if you wanna check out the Google IT Support Certificate for yourself, I did put a link in the description and the pinned comment below. And if you use that link, you'll get to try it seven days completely free. Now, speaking of creative opportunities in tech, let me tell you about the Google UX Design Certificate. So UX stands for user experience, and it's basically the experience that you have when you're interacting with a piece of software or an application. Now, this one combines creativity with technology. And the demand for skilled UX designers right now is really hot. With that being said, getting paid to do art has almost always been incredibly difficult. Even the most famous artists of all time usually died broke, and then they only got famous and their art only sold for, you know, millions or hundreds of millions of dollars after they were dead for a long time. So getting paid to do art is a real privilege. And this job being a UX designer is going to be harder to land than many of the other ones on the list. Bro, 
but unlike traditional design degrees that can take years, you can complete this one in less than six months. And with it, you'll learn UX design fundamentals, user research methods, wireframing and prototyping, Figma and Adobe XD, and how to build a professional UX portfolio. Now let's talk about exciting career paths and earning potential. As a UX designer, you'd expect to earn between 84 and $156,000 a year. Now there are some more entry level positions you can go into if you don't wanna jump right to that one which it can be harder to get into that one. And that would be like a UX writer. You can expect to earn about 47 to $87,000 a year. And that's where you understand a little bit of the design aspect and the branding aspect, but you're essentially just kind of like a copywriter that understands a little bit of design. And so you're gonna be writing the actual words that go on the website. Now, as I said before, lots of positive reviews here. I think this one has like a 4.7 out of five star rating, but it's not just people commenting on my YouTube channel. It's not just the ratings on Coursera itself. You can also look in the deepest, darkest pits of the internet, such as Reddit, and you can see those negative people even saying incredibly positive things about this cert. This web designer, for instance, found strategic value in the certificate, and they particularly appreciated its focus on research methodology and practical portfolio development, which by the way, I didn't mention this yet, but portfolios are very, very important for this one, right? You should do a portfolio for all the ones on this list, but for UX design, it's absolutely mandatory. You 100% need a portfolio and it needs to be good. Now, another learner highlighted the program served as an excellent foundation for understanding industry terminology as well as processes. And this Redditor reinforced the importance of getting the certification for beginners who are looking to learn the basics. So yeah, this one is extremely solid. Not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. For a lot of people, I think it's probably best to just keep art as like a hobby or a passion rather than trying to do it for your career. But yeah, really solid. Quick break. Are you tired of applying for remote jobs but never hearing anything back? Well, we have top secret training that we've only gave it to our coaching clients because we don't want the secrets to get out there because if everybody knows how to do it, then it won't work anymore. But for this one time only, I'm actually going to give everyone access to this information. It's not even going to be hundreds of dollars. It will be available for a ridiculously low price. And this is only going to be for a limited amount of time. In fact, I'm probably only going to be doing it in this video that you're watching right now, and it won't be available for long. So click the link down in the description and in the pinned comment below to check it out, and I'll see you on the inside. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Next one is gonna be great for those who want to practice being a leader in the future, and that's going to be the Google Project Management Professional Certificate, right? Because maybe you're looking at these certs and you're like, you know what, Shane, I'm more of a people person. I kind of like organizing and leading teams. I'm not really a technical person. I don't really wanna do art. Well, this certificate might be perfect for you then. And companies are desperate desperately looking for project managers right now. So the Google Project Management Certificate is designed to take you from zero to job ready as a project manager. And the best part is you don't need any previous experience just good organizational skills and attention to detail. So this program is gonna teach you project management fundamentals, agile and scrum methodologies, which are basically very common in bigger companies, risk management, team leadership skills, and real world project planning tools. Now let's explore the exciting career paths and their earning potential. For project managers, expect to earn between 79 and $132,000 a year. But that's not the only career path you can go into. You can also become a scrum master and they make about 95 to $165,000 year. And there's honestly a lot more than that. But I think you get the point. These jobs pay really well. And it makes sense because you are managing an entire project. You're the one who kind of makes all the pieces fit together. You're like the glue that brings everyone together and makes the final project actually work. You're making sure that it gets done on time and within budget. Now, here's what others are saying about the Google Project Management Certificate online. This person, for instance, enhanced their project management expertise through this program while accumulating valuable PMI coursework hours. Now, PMI is basically the gold standard for project management certifications. So this works really well in conjunction with getting that one as well. Now, another participant completed the certificate in just two to three weeks and used it as a springboard to achieve their PMP certification within five months. PMP is from the same organization. And this just goes to show like a lot of these certs, you can get them done really quickly. They say that it takes six months, but in reality, you can usually get it done much faster than that. Now, moving on to our next certificate, I wanted to give you guys kind of a sort of like buffet of certificates 
certificates to choose from, right? I didn't want to choose all certificates that are super technical. I wanted to give you guys some choices. And so the next certificate is going to be the Google Digital Marketing and E-Commerce Cert. And this is perfect for those of you who are interested in the business side of things, because digital marketing is one of the most valuable business related skills you can possibly learn. And while everyone's fighting over technical skills, trying to become a computer programmer, there's massive demand for digital marketing skills that most people are completely overlooking. And you don't need to know how to code. So this certificate is going to teach you how to drive sales and revenue for businesses online. And what makes this really valuable is that literally every company needs these skills right now. And with this, you'll learn digital marketing fundamentals, e-commerce strategies, search engine optimization, social media marketing, email marketing campaigns, and Google Analytics and Google Ads. And these are some super valuable skills. Precious. And it really doesn't matter whether you just want to you know, work in a job for the rest of your life, do freelancing, or start your business down the line. These are skills that are going to help you no matter what you end up doing. Now, as a digital marketing manager, which is a career path you can go into down the line, you'll make about seventy-three dollars to $133,000 a year. Now, typically, if you go straight into a digital marketing position with absolutely no experience, it does depend on where you live and you know some other factors, but you're probably going to make somewhere around like fifty dollars to $60,000 a year. However, very quickly, even with within one year, I've seen it quite a few times, you can make it even up to the six figure level. And in some cases, you can go right in, especially if you have a little bit of supplemental knowledge, and you work on your portfolio in certain areas, which is something that some of my students have done, and you can go right in and make a lot of money if you niche down enough. For instance, e commerce operations managers make about 76 to $133,000 a year. So yeah, lots of positive reviews for this one online. According to this recruiter, a former janitor successfully transitioned into a prestigious ad agency role using this certificate, which proves its value in opening doors to top tier marketing careers. And a mechanical engineering graduate landed a digital marketing role at Amazon, demonstrating that formal marketing degrees aren't necessary for breaking into the field, even if you're trying to apply to the biggest companies. Okay, some of the companies are still stuck in the mud, but I think you get my point. More and more companies are dropping these silly little requirements where you have to have a college degree for careers that clearly do not require a college degree. So yeah, this one is really good. And I saved the possibly best one for last. Uh, this is the one that I think is probably the highest rated out of all of them. And that's going to be the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. Now, all of the Google certs are amazing. No, you are. But the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate probably just takes it to the next level. I've asked a bunch of data analysts out there, you know, hey, what do you recommend if somebody's starting from scratch and they want to get into data analysis, become a data analyst? And over and over again, they always tell me to start with this cert. Now, of course, they also say you want to supplement it with other learning outside. You want to build your portfolio, et cetera, et cetera. That's just common sense stuff at least common sense if you follow my channel, which you totally should be, by the way. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done it already. But yeah, this certificate is amazing. It, out of all the certs, I think this one has the most hype, uh, the most positive reviews. I think on Coursera, it's either 4.8 or 4.9 stars out of five. And by the way, 4.6 even is really good. So all of these certs are rated amazingly well. And yeah, data analysis is one of the most valuable skills you can learn. And the thing that makes it so good is you can apply it to so many different industries, right? So there's data analysts that are nurse specific. They call it nurse informaticists, right? And it's basically just a data analyst that knows a little bit about nursing. That's essentially what it is, right? So there's all these different careers opening up in all these different industries that are basically just data analyst related. And so learning data analysis is gonna help you basically no matter what industry you go into, no matter what company you work for. And there's really good entry level jobs. And then down the line, you can get into really high paying jobs as well. It's just an absolute no brainer. And one of the best things about these certs is it allows you to basically dip your toe into what you'd actually be learning and actually be doing on a day to day basis if you become a data analyst. Now, the way college works is they kind of try to trick you into what the career is actually about. You know, they do this with the 101 classes where it's mandatory for you to take them. And then basically everything you learn in that class is absolutely nothing to do with what you're going to be doing on a day to day basis in your career. It's super interesting stuff that's almost designed to sell you into the major, whereas this stuff is actually going to be what you would be doing in the job. And so you get to dip your toe in for a very low price, see what you like. And if you don't like this, you can go do the cybersecurity certificate. And if you don't like that, you can go do the IT certificate. And if you don't like that, there's literally thousands of other certificates that you can do. So that's one of the benefits that I've basically heard nobody talk about is that you get to basically 
basically dip your toe, test out a bunch of skill sets and careers without risking that much time, effort, or money. And that's why these certs are amazing. And that's why I recommend them all the time. So yeah, check out the recommended ones. I'll put them down in the description and the pinned comment below. And if you're interested on how I rated these from S tier, which is the best to F tier, which is the worst, I did make a Google certificate tier list, which you can check out by clicking right here.